Hello reformers and welcome back to Starpoint Gemini Warlords. After the first part got a lot of support, well here's the second part. So yeah, I was just taking a look at our ship. As you can see here we have about 2000 HP. We don't have any cargo or anything like that. Our speed is about 600. I selected a ship when we were in the spaceport just after the last episode and I didn't realize that that was actually going to just kind of plop me out into space but apparently that is what they did anyway we also have some equipment here I can very easily mount these if I so desire I'm not entirely sure what each of these do well you can obviously see I mean mining doesn't do it for you you're more into gaseous forms fire this off into a gas pocket and let it do its magic gas collector provides better gas extraction and higher yield basically you can play a trader in this game if you so desire and then of course we do have our troopers and these troopers can board enemy vessels and do all kinds of amazing things I have no idea how they work but I suppose we're going to find out as time goes on obviously we can go to our star chart as well this is where we are currently and that is where we have to go that is where our main mission is do we want to go to our main mission or do we just want to run around and have a good old fun time? I actually don't know. I think we should probably go to the main mission. There we go. Alright, so this is our ship now. It's very it's very new. And I yeah, I, I can't actually fire my weapons. Can I fire my we I, I, can I fire my weapons in this? No, I, I don't think I can fire my weapons in can I? No. That's a gas pocket. Should I do something with that gas pocket? No. Okay. Oh, oh, hello. Okay, what's what's going on here? What's that? Corvette. Okay, that's a quartermaster. I suppose that's a, that's a merchant. All right. It says go to Concordia, so I suppose that's what we're gonna do. That's where we are right here. I'm interested to see what actually happens. Concordia on all channels. Greetings. All right. So let's hail them. Oh, no, not not that. Thank you very much. Can I select them? There you go. Okay, so hail them. Can I can I slow down, please? Yeah, there we go. All stop. Thank you. All right. So how do I hail? There we go. Glad you could make it, Teacup. We have an urgent task to take care of. Oh, that's gonna be hilarious, isn't it? It's just like, Teacup, you must save us all, and so on and so forth. Yes. Uh, okay, I'm listening. Intel has finished its in investigation of the Icarus attack and got the data over to me. The attackers used T-drives to flee, and as you know, these are impossible to trace. But several ships misjumped. Their engines must have been damaged in the fight. So you have their location? Do you? Not exactly, but we do know where they went from there, since they used conventional propulsion. What's there? Higgs went ahead to scout the area. She found a small installation. Scans of the outlying area show residual energy readings similar to those left behind by the attackers. The attackers were definitely in that area and used the installation for preparations. What do we know about the installation? That it's heavily armed and we're gonna die trying to attack it, probably. Yes? No? Used to be a lifeless hull, the local pirates could have restored it to a degree. Alright, sounds about right. So what's the plan exactly? Higgs, you and I will rendezvous in a junkyard near the installation. We'll go separately to draw less attention. The junkyard will also mask our energy signatures. From there, we'll rush the structure, knock out its defenses, and board it. Each of us will transport a team of our cyber specialists, just in case something goes wrong. At least one team will survive. A bit gloomy, but it's good to have insurance. Uh, is it? <laughs> yeah, when any of the teams gets the mainframe data, we get out of there as fast as possible. Destroy defenses, storm the place, and get out. Got it. Alright, so this might be a little bit of a tutorial about boarding. I very much hope it is, because I'd like to board a couple of other ships as well, because you can actually capture enemy ships, and I would assume sell them as well, which would actually be pretty cool. Yes. You and Higgs focus on the defense platforms. I'll deal with the ships. All clear. I'll meet with you at the coordinates. Okay, so go to the waypoint. Well, that's, that's over there. I could technically pilot this myself if I wanted to. I don't have to you know, use the autopilot if I don't want to. So I, I can just literally do that. That's pretty cool, I think. And uh, let's see. Firing yes, firing at will. Let's not do that. Okay, so if I can just turn like that. There we go. Okay. 
So that's firing at will. Okay, so I'm just turning that on and off. Context menu, sublight, fire at will. Okay, yeah, that's absolutely fine. Oh, we're already here? That was quick. Are these all enemies? Yes, I think they are, actually. This might be a problem. Oh, well, uh, engage? Okay, apparently I've got to engage. Okay, yep, yeah, here we go. We're going into combat mode. Going into combat mode. It's really nice how the combat comes sort of seamlessly into the actual navigation aspect. I like that quite a bit. Okay, so we now have to neutralize the defense platforms. Yes. Okay, so can, can I start shooting them now? There we go. Whoa, they die very quickly. Can I destroy that? Yes. Wow, they die extremely fast. What's going on there? Okay, I, I guess this is just a beginning mission or something along those lines. That's probably the reason. I'm really quite happy about that, though, because I was kind of dreading, you know, going into combat for the first time. Because usually, you know, in games like these, I'm I'm not very good. Uh, shall we just say? I'm not very good when it comes to actually surviving. You know, I can do some pretty decent damage, but... Yeah. Alright, so... Oh, hello. Yep, neutralize the mark ships. Okay, well, that's easy enough. Let's do it. Let's fire at them. Oh, yeah, look at that. That's it. That is one of our torpedoes. Nice. I like the torpedo. Oh, yep. Just rammed him. Just rammed him. Not from behind, but I did ram him. So, yes, he's not really very happy about that, is he? It's really nice how they show the percentages as well of their HP. We're almost... We're almost getting him down, I hope. Can I can I shoot at him? Can I actually shoot at him here with my... There we go. Another torpedo. Nice. Okay, well, we're getting some... We're getting some experience. Is he almost dead? Kind of. Kind of. I mean, how's our HP doing? Our HP is actually pretty good at the moment. There you go. Defenses are gone. Everyone, get the specialist to the installation. Okay, collect all. Thank you. We now have plasma rifles. We actually collected illegal commodities. All right, so that's that's nice. I like that quite a bit. Okay, so can I? How do I change the camera angle when I'm in this mode and not in steering mode? I'm going to have to find that out because I can't actually work it out for the life of me for some reason. Anyway, we now have to deploy troops. So select the installation on the context menu, select deploy troops, advance to the final room and raid the installation. All right, this is going to be the boarding sort of tutorial, I suppose. No, no, I don't want to fire at will. Thank you very much. Oh, oh, can you imagine? Oh, can you imagine actually literally having that, you know, on and then walking into a civilian transport area or something like that and blowing up the civilian transport. Ah, transport. Yes, that's what it's called. It's a transport. Okay, so what's this? Sublight or fire at will? No, I need to do something else. I need to go a little bit closer, I suppose. Select the installation. Yeah, there we go. Select it, and then we can deploy troops. Just going to slow down. Okay, so deploy troops. Assault the target with ground troops. All right. Okay, so I'm not entirely sure what's what's actually happening right now. Do I do I click on these? Oh, advance. Ah, oh, okay. So I can advance or retreat. I suppose I have to advance, don't I? So let's advance. There we go. Okay. So we don't actually get to see them fight, but I think this is a little bit better because I, I think that would be a little bit, well, maybe that would be a bit tedious. I don't know. There you go. Advanced successful. We are now on the command bridge and 100% chance to, I would assume, raid the thing or do something. Attempting to pillage the structure. There you go. Structure pacified. Resources pillaged. We have what we came here for. The installation is rigged to detonate. Leave the area. Oh, okay. I'm gonna leave the area. Okay, so let's go. Let's go to the waypoint and hopefully not get absolutely blown up. You, oh yeah. By the way, you can actually select which ship you start with. So, you know, if you're like me and you just randomly chose the ship uh, because I was unaware that that was actually the ship you were gonna, you know, play with, then at least pick a cool one. 
obviously. <laughs> but I think I think the one that we have right now looks actually pretty cool. Anyway, great work, both of you. Why did the installation detonate? This wasn't a part of the plan. So, should we just leave it like that so they can attack us again? Did you even see them? The three of us beat them easily. They weren't going to attack anything anytime soon. Enough. It's done. No point in discussing it, especially not here. The destruction will ensure their friends won't know that we destroyed it or what we came here for. Higgs, do a perimeter run and make sure there are no loose ends. Report to the Concordia afterwards. Copy that. Teacup, meet with me on Concordia. I'll go through the data by the time you get there. You clearly need some more time for reality to sink in, so think about it all the w or think about it all on the way there. You're no longer in control, James. Rain or out. Oh, we're no longer in control, are we? Oh, that's that's chilling. Absolutely chilling. Okay, so I can actually fire my gun normally like that. Oh, we're gaining... Oh, yeah. Look at that. 200,000 credits. We've gained enough experience to level up. We have plus one skill point, plus one perk point. That's fantastic. I like that a lot. And I think we're going to go to our skills. And we're going to take a look and see what we have. Oh, yeah. By the way, I chose a Marauder ship. I think I showed that in the previous episode, didn't I? Ah, oh, well. If I didn't, then I chose a Marauder. All right. Perks. <sighs> okay. So, what are we going to do? Familiarize yourself with combat strategies of various capital ship classes. Yeah, well, see, here's the thing. If we do this... The time you spent racing across the gal uh, galaxy uh, universe in your trusty gunship gives you special knowledge of the inner workings of gunship-type vessels. You know how much they can give. Increased evasion while flying a gunship. Increased light weapon damage by 25%. That's pretty good. What about weapons? You are very proficient with beam weapons, rail gun... Plasma cannon, heavy weapons. Eh. Okay, what about governing? Well, obviously governing right now is kind of useless because I'm not actually doing anything with taxes or anything like that. Okay, personal. Delve into the subtle arts of diplomacy and trade. Well, technically we did spec into diplomacy 1, so maybe diplomacy 2 would be a good idea. Wooing is not good enough. You have to make them understand what's at stake. They must appreciate your logic. Ah, of course. Of course. Okay, well, what about Freelancer? Isn't that amusing? That is quite amusing. Okay, so... Yeah, Engineering... Uh, yeah, you could go for some hacking. Time to aim higher. Firewalls can only defend them to a degree. I actually don't even know what hacking is all about yet. So I suppose we're going to find that out as time goes on too. And Tactical Appraisal. You really know how to read sensor data. Some of your crew members think it goes beyond technology and experience into the realm of the supernatural. But what you're really thinking is... Know your enemy. Gain more info on targeted objects. Okay, I think we're actually just going to go for gunship familiarity. That seems to be the best upgrade right now to directly give us combat Im improvements, I suppose you could say. Anyway, we're going to do that. There we go. And we're now going to be apparently choosing a skill. So we could choose cloak, disable. Uh, well, we can actually upgrade them. Right, we can just upgrade them. So, disable. Fire off for a short-range blast wave that packs enough power to disable your target for a short time. Time for some cloak and dagger maneuvers. Fire up the cloak field generator and disappear right in front of your confused enemies. Watch them squirm as they cannot detect you. Okay, so as you can see, the next rank just decreases the cooldown of that. Improves the duration. That's it. Okay, so expose. A short-range energy detonation blasts against the target, revealing its weaknesses. For a short time, the target's defenses are reduced. That sounds like a little bit better for me. I think that's that's I think that's quite nice. What about execute? A short range blast into the target. Obviously, we can't actually do that right now because it unlocks at level five. But as you can see, this is absolutely insane. This is basically our ultimate ability. Anyway, we're going to go for expose. I think that's going to be quite nice. I'm going to look very quickly at the controls because I'd like to see how I actually use these abilities. Alright, so I took a look at the options menu and the controls are all there, of course, you know, very easy to find out. And yeah, you just use them with 1, 2, 3, and 4. So, very easy. And then, of course, you have equipment as well. And if you have equipment equipped, equipment equipped, oh yeah, equipment equipped. Yeah, if you have equipment equipped, then obviously you can use that with 5, 6, 7, 8. So, you do have a wide variety of different things. 
and uh, it actually does actually show that down in the bottom right anyway it does actually show those things so let us engage sublight speed i wish i could go a little bit faster but i suppose i would need to get some sort of upgrade maybe a little bit of a an equipment upgrade perhaps maybe a a warp drive yeah i, I don't actually think you can can you get warp drive in this i i don't know Probably. You can probably get better weapons and better engines and armor and all that sort of thing. I mean, you know, what kind of space simulation game would it be if you couldn't do that? So we're going to just slow down. And we're going to be hailing them. There we go. Let us... Oh, I, I keep forgetting where hail is. There we go. You've arrived. Good. I've dug up an encrypted cluster buried in the data and I managed to decode it. What's in the pirate goodie bag? I wouldn't exactly call out a wealth of information. Two locations are noted frequently, and I found some info on the group that assaulted the Icarus. What do you want to know more about? The locations. Ah, now that's a real mystery. All I have are coordinates, two sets to be more precise, and it wasn't a trifle to get to them. But with some cross-referencing and triangulation... Ray... What are the locations and where are they? I don't know what we could find on those coordinates. It wasn't in the data logs. The extracted nav charts have only given me the frequent destinations of Black Oath ships departing from the installation. Nothing else. Okay, but we have the coordinates then. I guess some recon is in order. Agreed. I've already sent Higgs to scout out the location in Australia or Australia. <laughs> oh yeah, Australia. So, yes, you go to the Scourge and see what you can find out, but don't do anything rash. Contact me when you have more info. Maybe I should have specced into, into some diplomacy. Maybe we're going to need our diplomacy here. Oh, and one more thing. I'm sending over a more thorough report on the Black Oath. You'll find it in your records. All right, so reach the marked coordinates. Now, technically, what you can do, because obviously this is a freeform game, Technically, if you wanted to, you could just run around and do whatever you like. You can actually start a game which is similar to Mountain Blade, where you literally have no story whatsoever, and you can just roam around, do whatever it is you like. And I'm not entirely sure whether you can do that in the sort of story-based thing. I think you probably can. I mean, why, why would you not be able to? I think you probably can. There's, uh, there's an anomaly right there. Shall we scan this anomaly, actually? Can we scan it? Object. Yeah, we are scanning it. It's doing something to us. I'm a little bit worried about it, actually. Okay, there you go. We gained some experience, I guess, and it added the entry to anomalies. Right, okay. And that's a gas pocket. Right, okay, well, I can just, you know, close that. Thank you very much. Okay, well, yeah, as you can see, there's also quite a lot of exploration to be done. Which I very much appreciate. Because what is a space game without exploration? Exactly. So, yes. We are going to go over here. What's that? That's another gas pocket. Can you actually scan these things or no? No, it doesn't seem like you can. So, oh, oh, hello. What's going on here? What is going on here? I am going to participate in this fight. Let's do this. Okay, so, can I... Fire at will. Yes, there we go. Fire at will. Look at this. Look at how freeform this is. That is crazy. That is absolute... I'm going way too fast. I am going way too fast. Thank you very much. Okay. Let's fire... 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 There we go. Fire our torpedoes. Very nice. Look at how much damage he... Wow. Okay, yeah. I'm taking a lot of damage right there. Gaining some experience. Not a lot of experience, but, well... You know, what can you expect, really? I mean, we're, just, we're trying to help these people. I don't even know who they are, but we're trying to help them nevertheless. Maybe they are going to give us something if we help them. I mean, as you can see... Oh, no, I don't want to go into sublight. Thank you very much. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to collect this, you see. That's the thing. That's what I'm trying to do. There we go. We've gained some cargo. Okay, shoot them. Shoot them with our torpedoes. I, I might actually want to change my torpedo out and, you know, try and get something else. Maybe we can use that short-range blast. Let's go. Let's go cloak. There you go. I'm actually cloaked. Oh, yeah. That is what we like to see. Okay, so let's go a little bit slower here. I'm going to creep up to this guy. I'm going to creep up to him and use my ability. Yeah, there you go. There you go. That's what we like to see. Okay, so let's go. Fire at will, please. Okay. 
Come on, can we please just focus on this one? There we go. Okay, so we're dealing, um, oh, we're dealing a lot of damage to this guy. We are dealing a lot of damage to this guy. I can't use Cloak anymore, because it's on a cooldown of 36 seconds now. So obviously there's that, to, you know, you gotta take that into account. Can I please kill this though? I'd very much like to kill this. There you go, there's another torpedo. Ooh, yeah, that did so much damage right there, very nice. And it's almost down. Oh yeah, there we go. Give me that cargo, give me that cargo. Okay, so, yeah, I'm a little bit worried about this actually, because it said when I entered this zone, that it may be, uh, I don't even know, it may, should, should we hail them? Yeah, let's hail these guys. Okay, so anyway, seeing as we're on this screen right now, I do have a little bit of opportunity to speak about what I was just gonna say. Anyway, point is, we entered this zone and it said, Illegal in this zone, and then colon, and then it said Plasma rifles, and I have plasma rifles in my cargo hold, so I'm wondering whether I'm gonna get detained or I'm gonna get pursued by the law enforcement of the area or whether we're technically the law enforcement, so who knows. Okay, so hail resident, what can we help you with? I'm new in this part. Anything I should be on the lookout for? Yeah, yeah. Anything specific you're interested in? Nope, just anything noteworthy. Pay up and we can make a deal. What are you offering and how much do you want for it? I know of a location nearby. It's yours for a paltry sum of 2,000 credits. Really? That's it? Okay, you can take it. That's real cheap. That is real cheap. Whoa, that is all the way down there. I will not be able to do that because apparently I need civilian fleets and I also need resources and the threat level is very low. Well, that's weird. Oh, well, I suppose I can find out, you know, about that a little bit later on. And I guess we are now going to head to the other area. But for now, I'm going to be ending this episode of here. I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.